Today I'm going to be showing you a technique called slots, which allows us to build a more adaptive component for more situations. We don't have to create a different version for every single situation we'd need. So what does that look like? Let's say I have my modal window in here, and this image is currently set up, but maybe I want that to be some content. I can come to my instances here, swap that out for my content model, and then that can flow automatically. Inside that modal, you see we have a bunch of slots in here, and I can switch them on or off to then add content in there as well. Let's say I want to add that image back, but in a different position. I can do that and change the ratio from that image as well. Over here, I have all my components set up. So let's take a look at the modal. That's just an auto layout frame, fixed width and flexible height. And inside of there, we have all of those slots. If I show you in the layers panel, that are options that we can swap things out. You can create as many of these as you want to. Over here, I have my modal heading, which gets nested inside the header. Con content field, which is again, is a component button groups, variants, and the group itself. And then my images set up with different ratios. I have spaces that I'm not using at the moment, but I can use them if I want to. And then a slot component, which is actually invisible because it's been set as 0.01 pixel. So how does it work? Let's drag a modal to the canvas and select a slot inside of here. Let's choose this one and then put in some content. Let's add an image in here, change that to 16.9, then add another one go back, let's maybe use my heading, whoops, the wrong one, go to my header over here, use my heading component, then we can choose another one, you can start to see how we can pull this together, pull in some content, and then they can be flowing automatically. You see the spacing is a little bit off, so maybe I can space these out by 24, and then we see we've got the spacing at the top, so what I need then need to do is just turn these off inside that instance to pull that back down, and I can see the padding needs to be reduced to the bottom to enable that image to be successful. That's how it works. It allows you to have more flexible components using that slot method. Enjoy.